As the sun came up over the state capitol Wednesday morning, the testimony stretched on hour after hour. Parents, medical experts and advocacy groups speaking out in favor of or against two bills that would get rid of Connecticut's current religious exemptions that parents can claim for required school vaccinations. I never thought that my children's religious status would be the way that they learned about seg segregation and discrimination. When you're considering this bill, I want you to imagine that your child is medically unable to receive a vaccine. Is it okay for others to put your child at risk of severe illness when there's a safe and effective way to minimize this risk? Nearly 2,000 people signed up to speak during this public hearing, but leaders on the Public Health Committee imposing a 24-hour time limit. So that testimony ended at 9 o'clock Wednesday morning. Republicans on the Public Health Committee hosting a press conference afterwards to voice concerns with the public hearing process. And the process that the Democrat majority on this uh, committee had decided on to prematurely, in my opinion, end this hearing where nearly 1,500 people were not allowed to speak does not honor the right to petition our government and to be able to have your grievances heard. There's a lot of confusion over this, and I would have preferred to have people get together and work up to trying to find common ground, if not this session, next session. Democratic members of the committee acknowledging those who did not get the chance to speak during the public hearing as they plot their next steps. We want to hear from you and we encourage you to submit written testimony. I think that the leadership is going to, to have a meeting and, and, and decide the timeline. Uh, if everybody has had the opportunity to read this, they would be able to subsequently um, uh, tell the leadership uh, that they are ready to have a formal conversation around this and, and move forward. Now the conversation continues. Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News. Now the legislature's conservative caucus today also blasting the leadership of the Public Health Committee for ending the hearing after 24 hours. Representative Ann Dauphinis, who serves District 44, saying, quote, the concerns of each and every single person who tried to testify are real and deserve to be heard before legislation is passed that will affect those families so deeply.